Kenji Critiques, number Kenji Dick Rats Anime. Quick news video, and I don't usually do these news videos where I'm pirating other people's, you know, information or press releases, that kind of thing. But I thought this was of some pertinence to my, my subscribers, especially since a lot of you guys supported me so much when I was doing my Kaiji reactions, and we all fucking enjoyed that show, man. Easily 9 out of 10, and I put out a review uh, recently, which is a very, very late review, even though I'd finished the show last year. Um, and... Uh, the news is that the Tonigawa spin-off manga that came out, someone told me about the, the spin-off manga in my comments, if I remember correctly, uh, and it's a sort of comedic spin-off manga. Apparently, actually not apparently, it's confirmed that manga is getting an anime, uh, and obviously the manga was called Middle Management Chronicle Tonigawa, that's the English name, I don't know the, the Japanese name, but that's getting an anime. Now, I don't know how long it's going to be, nothing's been confirmed, only a key visual was released. Right, I'm going to leave the Anime News Network description and link below. Um, various other places kind of confirmed it as well. Um, and Fukumoto is apparently collaborating on it. Obviously, the ma the manga I don't believe is by Fukumoto. It's by someone else. It's, and the anime is going to be um, done by two guys. And Fukumoto is going to be collaborating with them. So, my worry is that, you know, as if it's comedic, fair enough. man. I think comedy fits nicely into the world of kaiji, right? When, when they're not fucking just... just it's not a nail-biting situation where you could fucking lose your arm or leg or fucking life and shit. But, um, as long as Fukumoto's collaborating and he shapes it and he guides that, the anime, I'll, I'll be fine with it, right? Uh, now, when I first heard that Tony Gawa got a spin-off manga, I thought to myself, okay, Tony Gawa's not a guy I, I, at the time, be particularly interested in following. He's not the first person I think about, right? But then I thought to myself, you know what? Tony Gawa got way more interesting when he got punished, right, with a hot plate. And that fucking... Probably the most visceral scene, right, in in season one, I think it was, that that was just completely fucked, right, and that's when you kind of root for Tony Gawa, man, and you're hoping that Tony Gawa comes over to the the light side, right, and obviously in season two we do see that happen, uh, so it maybe he's interesting to follow. I don't know where chronologically the manga lies. I hope it would take place after he's kind of fucked off from Hyodo's kind of fucking shady group and stuff, um, but yeah, that was confirmed. Uh, what do you guys think of, of that, man? I think it's the year of dreams for anime, man. LOTGH Remake, we're getting something, a kaiji anime, which gives me hope that Madhouse might be encouraged to do a kaiji season 3. Hopefully. I mean, if, if they're willing to do a spin-off about a Tony Gawa, you know, before they even do kaiji season 3, then maybe they've got plan. What do you guys think? Are you excited for it? How long do you think it will be? How long do you think it should be if you guys read the spin-off manga? I'm sure... There's not many people who read the spin-off manga. They're probably continuing to read Kaiji. But uh, I'm excited. I'm excited. Any news like this just gives me hope that, you know, they'll make the right choice, this this thing. So hopefully we get Ippo, new Ippo anime, new Hunter x Hunter anime. There's loads of other animes that deserve sequel, like uh, even One Outs. One Outs is a stretch, but I hope One Outs one day gets a sequel anime. So yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter. Details below. Click the icon at the bottom to subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Peace.